I'm here near the little village of Bretsch. And there are a couple of ancient burial mounds here, or the remains of ancient burial mounds, where our ancestors used to bury their dead. It's a pretty impressive place. So these used to be little mounds. So this was like a, a chamber built of rock. And um, there was like a, a hallway that uh, led to the chamber. And then the whole thing was uh, covered with earth and it formed a little hill, a mound. In these surroundings here, there used to be 12 burial mounds and nine of them were destroyed in the 19th century um, for quarrying. They used the stones to build roads and uh, buildings in, in the cities. And uh, these three burial mounds that are still remaining here, one is over there in this little patch of trees and this one is here and there's another one somewhere over there in the forest I have to check it out another day another day now these three burial mounds that are remaining here they were later excavated and they were they were preserved because the um, the owner of these lands the Duke or whoever was it he wanted to keep them and he protected them basically. So this is why we still have them here. And this is similar to what happened all over Germany in the 19th century, um, where on one hand archaeology emerged and um, the desire to research and protect um, ancient sites. But on the other hand, uh, increasing industrialization and yeah, general disregard for nature and heritage uh, led to the destruction of many of these sites and the, actually the, the vast majority of these sites were destroyed. Um, so these used to be just everywhere, especially in northern Germany. Now I want to show you something over here, which is very worrying in my eyes because it shows you what is happening nowadays with our heritage. This is like an information board. And you can see right away, you know there's like the general information about the, about the grave site. And then there's like an idea of how the people who built these sites looked like. And you can see that, yeah, I'm not quite sure how to um, describe this, but um, yeah, it looks like a, a mix of Asian and African. I'm not quite sure, but he looks like a African steppe dweller, you know. I don't know how he would have. Um, survived here because I'm actually freezing right now it was very warm the last days but um, today I'm I'm really freezing and um, I don't know how this guy would have survived um, you know without the without the wool and dress you know which is keeping me still quite warm but it's you know without it I would freeze my ass off. So 
this is just uh, one thing. The other thing is like, I like how they how they dyed his hair red, because this is this is how they how they um, avoid the thing with the blonde hair, you know, because like me and uh, most of the people in Northern Europe um, have blonde hair. Um, at least they used to before uh, low birth rates and mass migration basically thinned us out and you know reduced our numbers and um, but it's nice that they dyed his hair red so you don't really know is it also black hair I think it is um, probably but it's funny that down here they, they, there are more and they they look like you know I don't really even know what to call them on top here these little children they look like Amazonians like Indians from Amazonia the whole thing looks like North American Indian style and these people but but they don't look Indian because they have these beards you know Indians from like Native Americans from North and South America they usually don't have beards as far as I know so they look more like Asian uh, but I don't know they look <sighs> Tartar uh, Siberian I don't know what, what what to make of it you know they don't really look Germanic especially not the children here probably mixed race you know and here you have the, you know, an idea of what this, you know, I don't know. But it's very clear what they're doing here with us. They are flooding us with migrants. And they're telling us, you were always mixed race. You know, this is not a black guy. No African looks like this. This is not an African person. This is also not a, an Arab person. This is a mix between an Arab and an African. It's a mixed race guy. And they, they, they are now trying to push race mixing. And they, they want to basically mix all races out, out of existence, especially in Europe, and create this one race that is easier to control and there's an easier consumer, a more compliant citizen. And to make us more compliant, they tell us, look, you were always mixed. There never have been any races. There is a myth in, in New Zealand, there is a myth that um, before the Maori arrived from the Indonesia, um, from the Polynesian islands, um, Indonesia was was settled by blonde people, by Celts, you know. Some some say I don't know, but this is this legend. And people say that um, somewhere in the mountains there you can still find the last remnants of blonde people. And you know, some people say, wow, they arrived later, they arrived with the European immigration. But there's still this legend around that there were actually blonde people before in 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 in, in New Zealand. And what this illustrates is what they will do with us. If the current trend continues, we will become a legend. The last of us will you know, remain somewhere in the remote villages in the mountains and the, the, the cities and the big uh, plains, they will all, be, will all be settled by mixed race people and they will have their new education and indoctrination curricula and um, they will teach the people here that they were always here, that they always lived here. And um, we have to fight against that because it's um, that's genocide. That's, that is genocide out of uh, multi that's genocide motivated by racial hatred. You know, I mean, why would you do that? Why, 
who is so hateful against Europe that he wants to destroy all our European nations and mix us all together and then teach the children that they never existed in the first place, you know? Um, the Germans, especially in the 19th century when the scientific method um, became very refined, the Germans were very truth-loving and um, they just wanted to apply the scientific method to archaeology and to history and to research and they wanted to find out what what was going on you know what who were our ancestors how far can we trace back our history and um, had they found that um, these burial mounds were built by black people by African people or mixed race people they would probably have um, stated that but that's not really the case it's not what they found out the evidence is just not there what you see here is pure imagination that's pure propaganda that's pure politically correct anti-european propaganda we have to um, spread awareness about this